okay, our, our larva bin looks kind of inactive, but uh, as you can see here, they are still maturing and harvesting, self-harvesting themselves. Um, our pupation bin is out of flies, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few hundred of these mature larva and place them in the, the pupation bin and we'll get them going all over again hopefully. It is September 18th, um, <laughs> dating this video more for my own information, and we will see if these guys actually have enough time to pupate into flies, mature, and lay more eggs before yeah, the season gets too cold. Right now it's about uh, 80 degrees and it will be for the rest of the week so it'll give these guys a good chance to get set up in the soil where they can cocoon and become flies. Yesterday we took out 10 pounds of medium-sized larvae out of the pupation bin and uh, they're doing real well and I've checked the compost that we left in there and it looks like we still have several thousand larvae that I'll have to get out here in the next week or so. Okay. As you can see, there's all sorts of empty shells from the last hatch. But it'll work. Got plenty of soil underneath. One of the things I've found that I should have done differently is um, I should have had two compost areas and only one or, or these other two sections for the pupating larva. I don't need nearly enough or as much soil as I need compost when uh, they start laying their millions of eggs. So what I'll probably do, or what I will do, so I'm going to put these guys in here, in this section, and then tomorrow I will empty out the other section and start filling it with compost. So these guys are going to burrow down into the soil, which I think I had in an earlier video. And we will see if they get a second round. Yeah, the first time we planted two or three thousand larvae in here, and it was totally not necessary. We can get, we can reestablish our population easily with a uh, hundred flies or less. But uh, anyway, we threw in a couple hundred here, and we will see. Hopefully, not such a battalion of flies. See, we still have all the dead flies in here. I don't know if those would be good to feed to the chickens or not. I would imagine they're all dried up. But they might still have some kind of protein value. There are plenty of them. Okay, well, they're pretty well covered up. was saying yesterday we took out 10 pounds okay and then we threw some more barley in there just to see what else we have left and there are, are still plenty of larvae in here and there's probably still plenty of eggs on the side here that have yet to hatch <laughs> 